Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. This is a follow-up conversation. This is an after channel. I just channeled the former president, John Kennedy. And clearly, if you watch the channeling video, you will see that I, oh my gosh, the first time I've ever been really profoundly starstruck because I don't, you don't probably know this about me, but I actually went to college to study political science and I was born and raised into a family of political advocates and you want, might want to guess what party I'm affiliated with. <laughs> but I, that was just awesome. I mean, when I was in fifth grade, I did a book report on the Kennedys, on, on John Kennedy. I read the Profiles in Courage. I, I mean, I know, I know, I'm sure I could recall a bunch about the family. So, and this is kind of interesting too, I'm going to share this. This was the, a hard channel for me to want to do with Jack Kennedy because I don't know why. Maybe because I'm going to watch it and think I'm a complete ding dong on camera because I'm like, oh, oh my gosh, I'm trying to get my act together so I can talk to this man who was an incredible leader and I have a great deal of... Um, Respect isn't the right word, but I, I, I am so impressed with his talents, his ability to move people, and his, he's a great orator, an incredible speaker, and I am all about um, listening to someone who's an incredible speaker. I love great speakers. And so he's like the ultimate motivational speaker, I guess, um, although he never made it to a TED Talk. Um, so I was really... I'm still like enamored with him and stuff. I mean, I'm not, I mean, how do I describe this? Very wise energy, very wise. And when he was talking to me, I was feeling what he was saying before he actually said it. So that feeling energy is channeling clairsentience. It's called clairsentience. It's a psychic gift of sensing and feeling. And so it's the sensing channel. So you feel it first, right? That's how it came with him. And I was trying to get out of my own feelings about it. Like, oh my gosh, I'm talking to JFK. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And I was trying to not be so, oh my gosh, with that. And the deer in the headlights, which I did feel like. you. I'm sure it's, I cannot wait to watch it. Because I'm sure I'm going to, oh, maybe I'll be embarrassed. I don't know. But there was that first, our clairsentient channel. And then, well, technically the first one's clairvoyance, which I see him, so I describe him to you. But I could feel him. I'm sure you noticed that first, and then I could see him. And then I could hear him. I could hear his very specific words. At times he was so, like he spoke in like a paragraph, and it was just do 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 you know? And wow, like there's going to be some incredible, um, incredible, lines there I think from him from the afterlife so good I think it was good um it's a lot to process it, it's a lot to process I almost feel like I just achieved something that like checks something off my bucket list you know I really thought I was gonna have to wait until I died and went to heaven and hung out with my dad and some of the political people that he knows over there you know um to meet the, to meet the Kennedys you know but here I am I met John Kennedy and I definitely met John Kennedy. <laughs> I mean, it feels like it. I'm like, oh my gosh. Incredible. Just, just incredible. And he just was so put together and um, he's listening to me now as I'm talking. So it would be really great if we, <laughs> no, he just stood up. I can really see red on his tie. And he says, you'll have to, he says, you'll have to do that Google it thing. You'll have to, he stands up and he's standing up now. And uh, he's kind of tucking in the back of his shirt. He's tucking in the back of his shirt. And uh, tucking in the back of his shirt and stuff, kind of straightening himself out so he's real put together. And he's got, it's like a burgundy red tie. That's what it is. And it's got stripes, really thin blue stripes with a little bit of gold in it. That's what it looks like. And then there's a tie tack that does look like Harvard. I think it's Harvard. That's what it feels like to me. Um, he said, the study of law and politics. Interesting, isn't it? Yeah, it's kind of ironic too, isn't it? <laughs> yes, and we could have great conversations about that. Interesting. Oh, you know, it's interesting too, because when we have conversations about things and we're talking about things, we're using the mind. And because you're a spirit in the afterlife, how does that work? Like the mind thing? How can you talk to me and have thoughts, new thoughts after you're, you're dead and you don't have a mind? How does that even work? 
He says, ah, it's tricky, isn't it? It's kind of like magic. And he says, I'm like, really? And he's like, no, not really, not really. You have a frame of reference. You can use words. It's not, once you've been there, done that, it's like riding a bicycle. You just get right back on. It's not, it's not a difficult thing to use words to describe things or to put into context so that the humans who are in getting the message can actually receive it. Isn't that the point of your work? Isn't that the point of all that you do? Is to share the message, to get it to the people, the person who needs it, to translate the information, that energy, those energy waves into into something that people can digest and, and, and understand and that will make their lives better. Isn't that your purpose? Pretty much. <laughs> In a nutshell, yes. Yes, that is my purpose because I want people to feel better. I want them to feel good and know that life is what they make it. And if they feel better, they can do better. They can be better. They can be engaged, they can show up for their lives, and they can live a life that is fulfilled. And that is a life that is purposeful, that fulfillment piece, right? Don't leave anything on the stage, you know, drop the mic. So that's a reference of my time. He says, I know what it is. He's like, we have, we have musicians over here, you know. You might know that. Yes, I do know that. And I'm not just talking about Frank, he says. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Sinatra. <laughs> I'm like, okay. All right. I would love to chat with you again because there are some fun things that we could talk about or some interesting other things that we could talk about as well that I think other people will be interested in. So if you are, if you want to know more from the former president, John Kennedy, Jack, JFK, go ahead and put in the, in the comments on this follow-up video additional things you want to know that you want to know from Mr. John Fitzgerald Kennedy. All right. Okay, this is a little goofy, but thank you guys so much. I feel kind of giddy a little bit. I literally bucket check, bucket list check. Thank you so much for watching. This is Bridget here at Above Life Channel. The purpose is to inspire your spirit and to fill your heart with hope because this right now is your life. And I want you to live it. Just live it. Thanks so much for watching. <laughs>